welcome all of you in the renuka institute of neet again myself social naik today in biology lecture we will talk about inhibition of enzyme action inhibition of the enzyme action is carried out by the different phenomena and the mechanisms the first protein denaturation protein denaturation means what remember that all enzymes are tertiary kind of protein when this enzyme get a optimum ph temperature and the medium as well then and then this enzyme do their function but when the ph vary or the temperature vary the enzyme become denature denature means the peptide bond present in the constitution of that tertiary protein breaks and this is called denaturation of the enzyme we know all enzymes are protein and so protein denaturation itself is the enzyme denaturation in the living systems the second one is competitive inhibition what is competitive inhibition then enzyme has the active site on it this active site having the polar kind of amino acids on it which can easily react with the substance which may be substrate or the inhibitor why it is called the competitive inhibition then remember that the substrate has to compete with the inhibitor to bind with the active site of the enzyme we know very well enzyme substrate bind to form enzyme substrate complex but if enzyme inhibitor binds it constitute ei complex so the substance which need to bind with the enzyme is the substrate the another one is the inhibitor if they have the similar kind of structure which is exactly complementary to the active site of the enzyme they need to compete with each other but remember that the substance which is more in concentration whether it is substrate or the inhibitor always bind with the active site succinate dehydrogenase is the enzyme succinate need to bind with the succinate dehydrogenase on the active site of the enzyme but malonate and oxaloacetate which act as a inhibitor they compete with the succinate as they have the similar kind of constitution we can observe the succinate is a anion having negative charge on both the end similarly malonate and oxaloacetate having the negative charge on both the end so they can easily react with the active site of the enzyme and compete with the succinate in such case the substrate concentration must be more than any inhibitor then and then it can react with the enzyme if an inhibitor concentration is more in this case the inhibitor bind with the enzyme and so we can say it is a competition between the substrate and the inhibitor to bind with the active site in another example in the bacteria in the case of bacteria folic acid is required in the constitution of the cell wall or in the formation of cell wall as well in such case para amino benzoic acid is the substrate it need to bind with the enzyme but if we use the sulfur drugs which contain sulfanilamide if you observe the structure of sulfanilamide and para amino benzoic acid they have the similar kind of group at their end and they both can bind with the active site of the enzyme in the condition of infection when bacteria is there in the body we get the antibiotic this antibiotics contain sulfanilamide that is sulfur drug this sulfanilamide bind with the enzyme and inhibit the activity of enzyme and the substrate and in such case there is no folic acid production in the body of bacteria and so in the absence of folic acid bacterial cell wall cannot be formed or burst and this way we inhibit the infection in the body in the non competitive inhibition the inhibitor no need to compete with the substrate as they do not have any structural similarity between 
the inhibitor bind with the enzyme at other than the active site of the enzyme the structural configuration of the enzyme and its active site vary so the substrate cannot bind with the enzyme and the process is inhibited for an example cyanide act as an respiratory inhibitor it inhibit the enzymes concerned with the respiration many other metals are also act as an inhibitor as far as the respiration process is concerned if high metals or the cyanide is present there is atp synthesis is inhibited in the living organisms and the organism may die cytochrome oxidase which is present in the mitochondria is mainly influenced or affected by the cyanide or the high metals and in this case electron transport system is inhibited no atp production no energy and organism cannot survive simply it gets killed is the allosteric modulation or the feedback inhibition very important why it is called the allosteric modulation what do you mean by allosteric site and why it is called as an feedback inhibition so remember that enzyme has the active site on it for an example this is the active site of enzyme where the substrate bind with it but enzyme do have the another site like this which is called as an allosteric site here the allosteric substance or we can say modulator or the product of the process may bind with the allosteric site which is other than the active site in this condition the modulator means what it is the substance itself which may inhibit the activity of enzyme or stimulate the activity of enzyme remember that modulator it's always inhibitor it is not so modulator is always activator again it is not so then why this is called feedback inhibition remember that if we get the example of feedback inhibition so glucose need to bind with the atp to form glucose 6 phosphate and adp here the hexokinase is the enzyme but remember that the product form that is glucose 6 phosphate itself bind with the enzyme and inactivate it simply once the product is formed there is no need of the reaction again and that's why the product itself inhibit the process and that's why it is called feedback inhibition simply feedback means the effect of the reaction in the form of production of the product or anything else this effect itself inhibit the reaction and that's why it is called feedback inhibition or the feedback mechanism for example in e coli bacteria the threonine it's a kind of amino acid convert into alpha keto glutarate by the activity of enzyme 309 d aminase remember that this alpha ketoglutaric acid gradually get transformed into isoleucine this isoleucine is again a kind of amino acid remember that when the iso leucine forms it again bind with the 309 deaminase enzyme and inhibit the entire reaction again so the product of the reaction itself inhibit the reaction so it is called product inhibition or the feedback inhibition also